I'm starting the video with this funny scene when I went up to the fields early one morning and found this. Much to my amusement was the sheep's reaction. The rest of the sheep, they were sort of chasing along behind, but then looking a bit shocked at the same time. Um, so I obviously went over and rescued the poor little lamb from having its head inside the bucket. And after those crazy few moments of noise and commotion, peace returned and I was able to enjoy the beautiful view and the beautiful morning that we were enjoying. The weather has been wild. I was even rescuing my laundry from the tree because it had blown away and then it turned wet. So it's rainy, it's drizzly, it's not cold, but we have got a new car landed. After the loss of the last calf, it's nice to have a new healthy calf born on the farm. So August brought with it some summer storms, which was strong wind and rain, which was not nice for people camping, as you can see. August and it's Storm Francis. We've had quite a rubbish month of weather. This is the last week of August now and it feels like autumn setting in. The rain's blowing over. It's going to get really windy again later. We've had so many gale force winds over the past few days. Yesterday was a day of calm. Now it's back to being quite grim. So I'm just going to have a look to see what the animals are up to. They're all here. They're designed for it, but it's not very nice. And the new Highland calf is under that tree there, I believe. And over this side, See, the hills have disappeared, and last year's calves under the tree. This is Harriet. Hello, Harry. Yesterday we were brought all the sheep in and worked with the sheep, sorted out some foot rot and some lameness 
and the sheep are all on fresh pasture so I'm just going to have a quick check to see how they're doing this morning always looking out to see that Mabel is doing okay after her illness she doesn't seem to like the rain so I've got the shelter under the moor there under the trees and at this point the wind is not too strong I think it's going to pick up but it doesn't look to be bringing them too much distress they're all fairly quiet and settled there's the wind On the campsite, scenes of destruction, flattened tents, broken tents. It really was not a fun week. Well, it's six o'clock and I'm currently sat in just my dressing gown because all of my clothes are soaked and I've got dressed into two or three different outfits today, two pairs of trousers, two or three rain jackets. Um, and I'm just fed up of it really now, the wind and the rain and the campsites waterlogged and the tents are broken in the wind. But we did manage to move the cows and um, yeah, summer. Well, it's after yesterday was the most atrocious day I've known in August for, well, I don't think ever. Uh, today is still very blustery, but at least it's fine. And I've just been around the animals, they seem remarkably okay. So that's good. Cows look settled and the sheep. All good. Not quite the same situation on the campsite. Oh dear. <laughs> no, we were very wet and somebody had to abandon a tent last night, left it in the shed coming today and the, the ground's extremely wet for them. It's very disappointing. Yeah. Yesterday really got me down in the end. Um, the storm, the rain, the destruction, the destruction on the campsite, people's tents getting wrecked, etc. But today's a new day and i'm gonna go and see my girls the sheep and make sure that they're all okay before i get on with uh, another day at the farm and dad's just popped a lick bucket in the field this morning which they're going straight to this is mary i was a bit worried about mary last night i couldn't sleep very well because of the storm um because of her age but she's looking good and yeah they love that bucket And as you can see, the pond is nice and full and the clouds are just starting to break up. The sun's trying to break through. Despite the weather, I do have a great sense of peace when I'm up here in the fields. And that's something that I'm really grateful for and that's one of the reasons why I think I love working on the farm is that it does bring me a sense of peace um, so I'm grateful for that yeah what a difference a day makes Oh no. Oh attacked. dear. Has it been attacked? No, it's just had its eyes pecked out. Well, its eyes still there. That's not a good sign, is it? That's a waterfall. Sorry, girl. There was. Was it an old one? So, we've just been having a walk round and the weather has been atrocious the past couple of days. There were a couple of views that were, when we got them in this week, looking old looking like they were definitely not going to be kept on for breeding so they would have gone as cool use but one of them i think one of them's 
well, I think it's one of them has died. Um, and I'm not surprised because it's been harsh, harsh conditions for any sheep that's, that's not 100% or not in good, good strength. So that's a shame, not nice. There's big boy Archie with lots of sticky buds in his fringe. And back to heavy rain. Back to rain again. And it's the start of the bank holiday weekend, which means September soon. And it doesn't really feel like we've had a summer a bit strange but that's it's 2020 isn't it strange 